Welcome, my friends. I'm Jen Hillman. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are diving into our yoga for weight loss practice. Yoga is such a powerful tool that can transform our body and is extremely effective in helping us to lose weight as it cleanses and detoxifies our body, also stimulates our metabolism and boosts the flow of energy and builds the internal heat in the body. So if you have had success using yoga to help you lose weight, please leave your comments below and let us know about your experience. And go ahead and favorite this video, join the community, and let's get ready to practice. We'll begin today standing on your mat. So to begin, we will stand with your feet parallel on your mat, turning all 10 toes towards the front and the outer edges of your feet parallel to each other. Stand nice and tall, lifting up out of your waist and hug your belly up and in. So even from your beginning standing pose, we start to engage the strength of your core, toning and lifting through your central channel. Then bring your hands to prayer position and you can close your eyes here for a moment and use this as an opportunity to really drop in, to become present in your breath and in your body. And set your intention for your practice to awaken your internal fire, to build the heat and the metabolism of your body, to support and nourish your body with healthy physical movement, and setting your intention to show love and self-care to your own self through this practice. Take a deep breath in, breathing in all of your good intentions. And exhale to release any blockages, any self-doubt, any self-judgment. Just let it go with your breath. And on your next inhale, you can open your eyes and stretch your fingertips to the sky. Reach and grow tall. Then we'll exhale here and fold your body forward, coming all the way down over your legs. Now you can bend your knees right and left a few times here. You can even start to shift your weight side to side, gently swaying your hips right to left. And this is a great chance for you to start to warm up into the backs of your legs feeling a gentle stretch into the hamstrings, maybe feeling a stretch into the IT bands as you shift your weight side to side. You may even start to feel a stretch along the outer hips or into the low back. This is just your moment right here to explore and move. And then when you feel ready, you can come back to stillness, just folding forward over your legs. Then slide your hands up onto your shins. And as you inhale your breath, press into your legs to lift and extend your spine long. Roll your shoulders down your back. Stretch your spine long and scoop your belly up and in. Take one more inhale here, a full deep breath in. Then as you exhale, scoop your belly button into your spine and fold your body down. So we want to actively use the strength of your core to help you fold a little bit deeper. Then slide your hands back to your shins. Inhale your breath and extend your spine, rolling your shoulders down your back. Lift your belly up and in. Then we exhale deeply and fold all the way in over your legs. Let's take this sequence one more time. Inhale to lift and extend your spine. Then exhale fully and fold your body down. Then we'll bring your left hand to the floor right underneath your nose. Bend into your left knee, pressing the right leg straight. 
then we'll twist and extend your right fingertips to the sky. So it's very helpful in your weight loss endeavors to practice deep twists as it helps to wring out your internal organs and massage all of the organs associated with digestion and metabolism. So we'll take one more inhale here, feeling the fullness of this twist, and then exhale and release, coming back down to center. Bring your right hand to the floor, right underneath your nose. Bend into your right knee, pressing the left leg a little straighter. Then we'll open up your arm, left fingertips reach to the sky, getting a nice deep twist into your spine. See if you can practice hugging your belly up and in, even here as you twist. So already we're engaging the strength of the core, even with this simple twist. Take one more full breath in. Then as you exhale, gently fold and release, coming all the way forward over your legs. Plant your hands firmly on your mat and step your feet back into a plank pose. So we're going to hold this plank pose for about five cycles of breath. So really tone the strength of your legs here. Spread your fingertips wide on your mat and actively push into the earth. Lift your belly up and in so we're not just sagging in the hips, but rather lifting and toning through the core. So you really hug your belly in here. You're going to start to feel some internal heat starting to build right in the center of your core. Then here we'll lift your hips up towards the sky, pressing back into a downward dog. Now you can pedal out your feet here, just gently walking your dog, especially here in the beginning of our practice. It's really helpful to take your time and work into your body slowly and gently, especially if you are new to the practice of yoga. Go easy on yourself. You don't have to live up to any crazy expectations, but rather enjoy the journey of experiencing what's going on in your body with no judgment, no criticism. Let's gently walk your feet forward to the top of your mat, one step at a time, making your way back towards your forward fold. Lift your belly up and in, even as you make your way forward. So this whole time we're engaging the core, really lifting that abdominal lock. Then slide your hands to your shins. Inhale, lift and extend your spine long, lifting halfway. Then exhale, scoop your belly in and fold. Plant your hands onto your mat. Step your feet back into your plank pose. This time we're coming to forearm plank. So we're gonna bring your forearms down onto the mat. You can interlace your hands in front of your nose. Same idea here, we wanna really tone the strength of the legs, push down through your forearms so you're not just sinking into your shoulders, but we wanna feel a sense of lift. And then again, draw the belly up and in so we're not just sagging the hips, but we want to feel tone through the waist, through the low back, through the abdominals. Then you can extend your heart forward, lengthening through the sides of your waist. Take one more full cycle of breath right here, building that internal heat. Then draw your hips up and back. We're coming into dolphin pose. You can step your feet in slightly if that makes this pose a little more comfortable for you. We're going to lift the hips high to the sky as you press your heart towards your shins. We want to feel a deep stretch and opening through the chest and shoulders. And as you work into this pose here, scoop your belly up and in. So we're feeling a little gentle compression of the internal and digestive organs. 
Take one more full cycle of breath right here, a full inhale and a full exhale. Then we're gonna move into some forearm push-ups. So lift your gaze forward towards your thumbs. We're gonna inhale, extend your heart over your thumbs, really toning the strength of your arms here. And then exhale your breath and draw your hips back to that dolphin pose. Then again, inhale, shift your heart forward, scoop your belly in, tone your waist, and then exhale and draw your hips back. We're going three more times here, moving with the rhythm of your breath. Your inhale brings you forward, and the exhale draws you back. Two more times. Really focus your attention and your awareness onto the belly button, lifting up towards your spine. So the whole time the core is engaged. Last one here. Inhale to come forward. And exhale to draw those hips back. You can lower your knees here. Sink your hips to your heels. Let's take a moment to breathe and rest in child's pose. It's important when you are on your weight loss journey that you give yourself permission to take breaks whenever you need. <sighs> it can be very challenging to work into some of these stronger poses, especially if you haven't been in your practice or you haven't worked out in a while. So take your time be gentle and be patient with yourself and take breaks whenever you need to. And when you feel ready, you can jump right back into the practice. So take one more full cycle of breath in your, down, in your child's pose. Breathing in fully and exhale, breathing out fully. Ah. Now we're going to press back into your down dog. You can find your way there in any sort of organic, natural fashion. Making your way back into your down dog, lifting your hips up towards the sky, opening through your chest and shoulders. Scoop your belly up and in, and we stretch and breathe into the backs of your legs. Then on your next inhale, we're gonna lift the right leg up towards the sky. Half lift through that right leg. Then exhale your breath and draw your knee towards your chest. Shift forward over your hand and see if you can hover that right knee. Then inhale, lift your heel up and back into the tripod, down dog. Then exhale. Draw the knee forward, shift over your hands and squeeze your belly tight. Again, inhale, reach that right leg high. Then exhale, draw the right knee forward. Scoop your belly in, shift over your hands. And this time we're gonna see if you can step that right foot down to the floor between your two hands. Press your left hand down into the mat, and we'll open and extend the right fingertips to the sky. Moving into a nice deep twist here. Again, these twists are very beneficial for helping you to engage the strength of your core, as well as activating the internal detoxification process. So we'll open it up, take one more big breath in right here. Then as you exhale, we'll release the right hand down. Spin your left heel flat down to the floor. Press your right hand into the mat, and we'll open and extend the left fingertips to the sky. So even here, think about lifting your belly up and in. As you twist your heart around, we're engaging the strength of your core. So you might start to feel the obliques working here. So we'll open through your chest and actively engage your core muscles. Take one more inhale here. 
and exhale to release the left hand down. And again, we're gonna spin your left heel up towards the sky and we're coming up into a high crescent lunge. So really tone the strength of your legs here, find your yes, and we're gonna lift and extend the, both arms up towards the sky, coming into that high lunge. And I'll say it again, lift the belly up and in. Think about growing tall in your waist. So the whole core is engaged and active. That's how we really call upon the internal fire to activate that metabolism. So reaching here, take one big breath in. As you exhale, bend your elbows like a little goal post or cactus. Squeeze your shoulder blades onto your back and curl your heart towards the sky. Then we'll inhale and reach your fingertips high. Exhale, bend those elbows, opening your heart towards the sky. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, cactus the arms, curling your heart up. We'll take one more time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bend those elbows and open your heart to the sky. Good. Inhale, reach up. Then exhale, release your hands all the way down to the floor. You're gonna push into the mat and sweep your right leg up and back. Then exhale and gently release that right foot down. Coming right back into your down dog. If you wanna take a child's pose here, this is a good moment to rest, or you may find that you can rest and recover in your down dog. Wherever you are, come back to your breath. Really connect to the rhythm of that breathing and see if you can slow down your breath, helping your body stay in a state of relaxation, even in the midst of doing this good hard work. Take one more full cycle of breath, deep breath in, and a deep breath out. And we're gonna inhale and lift the left leg up towards the sky. Tripod, down dog. Exhale and draw your knee forward, shifting your weight over your hands. Scoop and hug your belly in, hover the left knee high. Then inhale and reach the left heel up towards the sky, stretch. Exhale, draw your knee forward, shifting over your hands, scoop your belly in and squeeze. Then inhale, lift that left leg back up. Last time here, exhale to come forward, squeezing everything into the center. Then we're gonna draw the left foot all the way forward and see if you can step your foot down between your hands. And if your foot doesn't quite make it on its own, just inch, inch, inch those toes forward until your left foot comes all the way to the top edge of your mat. We wanna have plenty of space between your two legs, okay? And then we're gonna move into the twist, planting your right hand down, tone the strength of your legs as you twist and extend your left fingertips to the sky. Scoop your belly up and in, hugging your waist, in towards that central channel. So we're engaging the strength of the core, the obliques are working, we're compressing and wringing out the internal organs and finding power and strength in your center. Take one more full inhale, then as you exhale, release, the left hand comes down and we're gonna spin the right heel flat down to the floor. Plant your left hand into the mat and open up the right fingertips to the sky. Then again, same idea, same work, hugging the belly in. So we actively call upon the strength of your core. And as you engage the strength of these muscles and you revolve the rib cage around, you're gonna feel those right side obliques really doing some good work here. So really tune into that strength. Find your yes in this place. Take one more full inhale, 
finding the edge of the pose. And then exhale to release the right hand down. And we're going to spin your right heel back to the sky. Now we're preparing to come into the crescent lunge. So we want to really call upon the strength of your legs, finding that solid foundation. Then we'll inhale to rise, extending your fingertips to the sky. You can exhale your breath and really settle into your pose. So toning the legs, especially that back leg. Make sure the right leg is really strong and supportive behind you. Reach and inhale, growing tall through your waist, reaching your fingertips to the sky. And as you exhale, we're gonna bend the elbows, curling your heart open. Inhale, reach the fingertips high. Exhale, cactus your arms, open your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, open your heart. One more cycle here. Inhale, stretch and lift. And exhale, bend your elbows, curl your heart open. Then we'll inhale, stretch your fingertips to the sky. Then exhale, release your hands all the way down. Push into the mat and let's sweep the left foot back up towards the sky. Tripod, down dog. And exhale and gently release the left foot down. Coming back into your down dog. Then again, you have the option here. You can either soften into a child's pose or you can practice your rest in a down dog. So you have options just depending on your energy level, your personal strength, or just what feels good to you today. And gently begin to walk your feet forward, taking one step at a time. And as you do, really focus on lifting, lifting the belly up and in. So as you come into this forward fold, the core is really engaged. And we'll inhale, press into your shins to lift your heart halfway up. Then exhale, release, and fold your body down. About where are we at on time? 22 minutes. Okay, awesome. I'm going to bring it down. <laughs> all right, from here we can bend into your knees and bring your hips all the way down to the floor. Bring the soles of your feet together and your knees apart. Holding onto your ankles, sit up nice and tall, lifting through the crown of your head. Roll your shoulders down your back as you grow tall through the sides of your waist. Take a nice big deep breath in here. Then exhale, hinge forward slightly at your hips. So we want to try and keep the spine long and the shoulders drawing back. Think about your collarbones broadening as you draw your belly up and in. Take one more inhale here, really stretch your spine long. Then we'll exhale to release and fold your body down. And let your head, neck, and shoulders relax down towards the floor, finding the fullness of your personal fold. Breathe slow and steady as you work into your hips, inviting more softness and openness. And inhale and roll your spine all the way back up to center. And from here, you're going to step your right foot to the outside of your left thigh. So you can cross that left leg under and step your right foot across, then actively step that foot down so the sole of your foot anchors into the floor. So this right leg becomes solid and stable. Then we're going to wrap your left arm around your right knee so we're twisting towards the right leg. Bring your right fingertips down to the floor, 
push into the earth to lift a little taller through your spine. This is gonna create more space for you to twist even deeper. So really think about bringing that left rib cage around as the right rib cage rolls back. And as always, as I've been saying this whole practice, lift the belly up and in. The more you can draw your belly in, the more you're gonna get that ringing sensation of really compressing through the internal organs. So this is like a massage for your insides. So this will really help to detox, cleanse your body, as well as just getting things moving, getting the energy flowing through the digestive system. So we'll take one more full breath here, all the way in and all the way out. Then you can begin to make your way around to center and we'll come all the way to the second side. So we'll change the cross of your legs, folding the right leg in, then step your left foot across to the outside of your right thigh. And again, let's just really anchor that left foot down, feeling supported and connected to the earth. Then the right arm will wrap around your left knee, giving it a hug here. Hug your knee in towards your right shoulder. Then you can bring your left fingertips to the floor, press into the earth to lift and grow tall, scooping your belly button in and revolve your heart around towards the left side. So same idea here. The more you can lift up, the deeper you can twist. The more you can engage your core, hugging your belly in, the more massage and detoxification can happen in your internal organs. So we just breathe into that space, breathe into that twist, find your yes even here. And then we'll slowly release back to center, coming all the way back around. You can uncross your legs, hug your knees into your chest one time, just giving yourself a little squeeze. Then we can make your way down onto your back. Then we're gonna take one more twist, just to call it good. Hug your knee into your chest, giving yourself a good tight squeeze here. So really think about compressing the right femur into the hip socket. So this is a deep compression of the ascending colon. Again, massaging those internal organs to help boost metabolism and digestion. Then we're gonna take this into a twist, crossing your right knee all the way over towards the left side. Let your right arm open towards the right side and you can roll your head towards the right. If it helps, you can use that left hand to gently encourage your right knee down towards the earth. You can close your eyes here and just let your body begin to slow down. Let your breathing begin to slow down. Tune in to the subtle sensations of your spine twisting and stretching. And we'll take one more full cycle of breath right here, a deep, full, long inhale. And exhale completely, letting all the air release. And we'll make your way onto your back, coming all the way back around. You can hug that right knee in one more time, give it a good tight squeeze. Then release your right leg down and we'll draw your left knee up into your chest. So hug that left knee in, giving it a good tight squeeze here. Feeling that compression of the femur into the hip socket. Compressing now the descending colon along the left side. So massage.
massaging and working out the internal organs with our yoga practice. So amazing. And we'll move into the twist here, drawing the left knee all the way over to the right side. See if you can bring that knee all the way down. If that feels like too deep of a twist, you can come back or bring a cushion or pillow underneath the left knee so you feel a little more support here. Then you can also use your right hand to gently encourage the left knee down towards the earth. And let your left arm open out to the side. You can roll your gaze towards the left so you feel the fullness of this twist from the bottom to the top of your spine. Then we just slow down the breathing. Breathe slow and deep and steady as your body slows down and begins to unwind. Feeling into that twist for three, two, and one. Make your way back around to your back. You can hug that left knee in one more time, feeling gratitude and appreciation for your left leg. Then go ahead and extend that leg down to meet the right. So we're coming into a complete relaxation on your mat. Close your eyes here and let your arms relax down by your sides. Let your feet fall open to the sides as you feel your hips completely relax. Let your belly and your chest rise and fall with your breathing and just feel the warmth, and the energy that you've cultivated in this practice. Feeling gratitude and appreciation for your body Imagine with your eyes closed, imagine your body being at its ideal weight, not too thin, not too overweight, but existing at a healthy, optimal weight for your body. Feel how good that feels, how confident you feel how happy and free and light you feel. Just being comfortable in your own skin, loving your body for what it is. Feel free to stay and enjoy this rest for as long as your body needs. Whenever you're ready to reawaken, you can wiggle your fingers and toes, roll your wrists and ankles around, and stretch your arms overhead, taking a long full body stretch, and roll yourself over to one side. You can take a moment and pause in this comfortable side-lying position and just feel that gentle comfort. Then you can begin to press into the earth and press yourself back up into a seat. Then as you come into your seat, just close your eyes here. And deepen into your breath. Feel the energy that you've cultivated in your practice today swirling around in your core. And bring the palms of your hands together at your heart and bow your head in acknowledgement of yourself, your dedication, and your hard work on the mat today. Acknowledge yourself, recognizing that even if you didn't do all the poses all the way through. 
even if you had to take some breaks, you still showed up, you did the work, and every step on the path is a step that moves us closer to our goals. So thank yourself for showing up, for doing the practice, and for being true to yourself and your goals. Thank you for joining me and allowing me to guide you in your practice. I wish you success on your journey towards optimal weight and health. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel here. Where I have lots of videos to help you build your strength, improve your flexibility, increase your metabolism, and help you in your weight loss journey. I look forward to sharing more with you and seeing you again on your mat soon. Be sure to visit my website, jenhillman.com, for all of the latest and greatest offerings that I have available for you. I'll see you next time. Until then, namaste.